three body problem and non local statistical distribution function. There are two bodies, spring and weight, two masses, two charged non conductor bodies, two electric conductors, and two electrons of superconductivity BCS theory. This does not present a problem if there are just two bodies, however, this becomes problematic when there are three bodies. A universe consisting of two bodies does not appear to be real. This is an imagination of natural philosopher. Two bodies behave in a predictable order. A real universe consists of many bodies. Even three bodies do not behave in a predictable order. Behaviour of three bodies is unstable, chaotic and probabilistic. One can try to calculate the point of collision where two of three objects come in contact with each other numerically. One can do this on a paper, on a spreadsheet or on a computer. One needs to carry out repetitive and tedious calculations of the position, velocity and acceleration of each body at one point in time and then repeat the calculations at a slightly later time and so on. But neither Newton nor modern specialists on Newtonian mechanics have been able to solve the three attracting body problem as there is no such solution in nature. The reality the universe system, in turn, contains objects, the number of which is arbitrary and does not have to be an integer. All objects of a system involve a non-local collective cooperation with all objects within the same system or in other systems. To describe such real systems, non-local statistical distribution function is applied. This was first used by Alexander Vlasov, a professor at the Moscow State University. Non-local statistical distribution function is applied as a distribution function to represent the probable particle number in a system. The particle number does not have to be an integer. Non-local statistical distribution function is applied as a statistical distribution function to represent the arbitrary number of objects. Particles do not interact in pairs even when a system is tightly packed with particles. All objects of a system involve a non-local collective cooperation with all objects within the same system or in other systems. Non-local means at a distance, when all objects cooperate with all objects by means of long-range forces of self-action. Objects instantaneously know about each other's state, even when they are separated by large distances or and belong to different systems. Non-local statistical distribution function shows that some particles from one system belong to another system and fractions of particles from one system belong to another system. Non-local means that particles are involved in collective cooperation without colliding with each other. The main thing is that the interaction energy is not interaction force. One should not confuse this with the collisionless concept related to the rarefied state of matter where the spaces between particles are too large to make collision possible. There is an interaction energy under the integral sign. Interaction energy is between the probe particle, R, and the rest of the group, ensemble, where R with stroke. This is an important point. Nobody used this approach before Vlasov and that is the difference between the 20th century approach and the pair interaction approach developed in the 19th century. Vlasov's concept of self-action later became Prigozhin's self-organization and subsequently Haken's synergetics. At the end of this episode, let those of us who are the most active, inquisitive and ambitious to gain knowledge learn how some physical problems can be solved with the non-local statistical distribution function in the framework of the non-local statistical mechanics. Let us keep in mind the following points. The strict development of the formula of the distribution function of stars known as a ring star system with rotational symmetry around an axis in galaxies. Jan Oort introduced and published the experimental formula in 1928. It is also important to understand the concept of gravitational crystallization. The strict development of the formula of the distribution function of charge carries in pin diode, non-coulomb structures. 
the rigorous analytical solution for the self-organization of thin-walled hot sheath bubbles consisting of extremely hot ionized gas filled with cold air and drifting through cold air such as ball lightning. Why has high temperature controlled thermonuclear fusion not been achieved since 1951? Why will the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor ITER, not solve the problem? What are the conditions for high temperature controlled thermonuclear fusion on the Earth?